Right now at 5 o'clock, a high school basketball star speaks after being paralyzed in a shooting on Indy's southeast side. As CBS 4's Jesse Wells explains, the victim did not appear to be the target of that violence. The 18-year-old victim recalls being inside a garage here behind me when he was shot by a stray bullet that changed his life forever. Just before midnight on May 31st, someone opened fire at a home hosting a high school graduation party. That violence left Columbus Cottle in the hospital for several weeks after being shot in the back. I took like two steps and my whole body just hit the floor. And then I couldn't feel my legs. Columbus says the bullet severed the side of his spinal cord, collapsed his lung, and left him in a wheelchair with only a 5% chance of ever walking again, but it didn't hurt his positive attitude. This is me now, so I gotta, if I wanna do better, I gotta work for it. So that's the only thing I, my mind sets towards is just working every single day to be able to get back where I was, hopefully. Just last month, Columbus graduated high school in Georgia and got a scholarship to play Division I basketball with Alabama State. He was only visiting Indy for a week when he was shot because his mother recently passed away. Columbus is now staying with his sisters in Indianapolis, but the family set up a GoFundMe to try and get into a rehab hospital in either Georgia or Florida. Wherever he goes, Columbus promises he'll work as hard in therapy as he did on the court. Like I believe 100% I'm going to get through this. It's just going to take time, hard work. Unfortunately, Columbus isn't alone. So far this year, there have been nearly 340 people wounded in shootings across Indianapolis. While Columbus has no idea who pulled the trigger and left him wheelchair bound, he forgives the shooter but still wants them held accountable. I don't have no like hate towards him or anything. It just it happened now. Can't, I can't take it back or do anything about it. So I just got to make the best of it. Finally, IMPD tells me the case remains an active investigation, but so far no arrests have been made. Anyone with information on the shooting can still contact Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, CBS 4 News. Jesse, thank you. Metro Police have